Dr. Sean Baker on the podcast and talking about higher protein diets with lower energy, if we want to think about the principles of it and how that can help with weight loss or can help with people who are struggling with, you know, some metabolic conditions. But, you know, there isn't a lot of data out there, obviously. But you recently contributed to a study following folks who'd been following a carnivore diet for, for over six months. Can you share with us, you know, some of the characteristics of the group or, or some of those common goals of why these individuals were pursuing that diet? Yeah, this was this was such a fun project. So I have my doctorate in nutrition. I'm a registered dietitian, and the carnivore diet, in the most blunt sense, is opposite to like everything we <laughs> recommend ever. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's very very different. And there's a lot of people that are following it. And whenever there's something where a lot of people are following it, it starts to to pique your interest. And then what was so unique about it is people were also reporting a lot of health related benefits. Again, all self-report things you see on social media and yep. conversations with people like MDs that promote it, like, like Dr. 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 Baker and otherwise. And so then it's like, okay, we need to start the research process in this population. See what's going on here. We need to better understand this. So this was a collaboration between um, myself down at Pennington Biomedical, some of the researchers at Harvard, Belinda Lenners, and uh, Dr. David Ludwig, and then also um, help from those carnivore community individuals. This was all survey self-report data, but the study was based to be the, the first representation of what are these people eating? And what benefits do they think they're getting out of it? And then put that in, you know, scientific approach method to better characterize it as opposed to just having a bunch of articles on Reddit and otherwise, you know, yeah. you know talk, talking about the study. So it was a, a really awesome report. And, and what we showed is that a large majority of the people were following this diet. They typically ate red meat based products. They very rarely ate fruits and vegetables, you know, which is standard recommendations for that carnivore diet, but most people reported generally positive improvements in a lot of their medical measures. Um, similar to what I mentioned with Verda, people reported coming off diabetes or other medications after consuming this diet. And these were all people that did it for at least six months. So it was, it was people, what we would consider for a diet, I mean, relatively long-term, it moves yeah. more towards a pattern of eating than what we would typically consider like a short-term diet to reach a specific goal. So it was just really interesting to see that um, there were some side effects related to it. We had some GI items and otherwise, but generally they were very low. One of the items that I thought was really cool is we didn't see self-reported side effects of the diet that would be consistent with micronutrient deficiencies. 